welcome to my channel and welcome back to my hey guys it's jessica welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here so today i am going to be filming an attempt to a glow up i look awful right now so that's gonna change but i'm just gonna you know get ready make myself feel pretty because i have nothing else better to do because it's the time where we all have to stay home i've literally like i've looked like this every single day for like a week now we're just gonna glow up just for fun so yeah let's go ahead and get started and excuse like the walls behind like i have blue tape all over my room because i am actually repainting it i don't know when i'm gonna do that um let's start off with a little face mask so i literally uh just woke up the lighting's like so weird I don't like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun. I think I'm gonna like self tan today because why not? I'll just do it for fun. Hair's up in a bun. We look great. I am going to do this peeling thing from e.l.f. I found it on TikTok. It's the gentle peeling exfoliant and it like basically peels like your face or like takes all the dead skin off of it. So I'm gonna try it for the first time on camera. Apply cleanser on dry face and gently massage in circular motions. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's in a little cute bottle. I don't know how much to put, so let's see. Oh my gosh, zoom up for you guys. It's getting all of my dead skin off. Can you guys see that? That's so gross. Now I'm gonna go rinse it. So let's go to the bathroom. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now. So we're just gonna rinse um, this face mask off. Okay, since I'm already in the bathroom, I'm gonna do my skincare routine. So, face wash on the Duval brush. Say hi. So now I am back in my room and I am going to shave my face. What I use is this, oops. This flaw ooh, <laughs> this flawless shaver. I don't know what brand it's probably called flawless. I don't even know, but you can just search up like face shaver and like something like this will pop up. So after that, I usually like to clean it because a lot of hair gets in there. So I get a Q-tip. Oh. That's the hair that comes out of it, if you wanted to see that. And then now I am, um, I am going to self tan my body. I'm gonna change into my clothes. I mean, to my swimsuit, so I could tan. Okay, so I'm in my swimsuit. So the self tanner that I use is the Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I use the self tanner and then I am going to use the Saint Tropez mitt that it comes with. Oh, first of all, let me moisturize my body. Okay, moisturizing is definitely like very important. And yesterday or last night I took um, a shower, so. And then I like I exfoliated my body, so I think we're good. I'm only gonna do the parts that like show my body, so like I'm not gonna do my back. Should I do my stomach? I don't even know. Do my back. So just grab this mitt. I do like three pumps on for my arms. it 
key tell difference? Probably not. It's harder to get product on my chest. I don't know why. It's like so hard to. My necklace is probably so dirty. And then I'm gonna put some on my face. I don't know if I'm like supposed to do this, but like I do it anyways, so don't judge me. So I put my tanner on. I don't know if you can tell, I look a little darker, but I am going to let this sit in, let it dry. I will be right back when all of this is done. The self tan on my face is kind of blotchy. Okay, so the tan, self tan usually calls for you to like wash it all off. But today I'm not gonna do that because I'm too lazy to do that. So we're just gonna just go with the flow with this. So um, I'm not gonna wash it off. Okay, so I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I post, oh my God. Okay, so I posted my skincare routine, the video before this, so you know the drill. Um, I use the same products, so. Let me try and fix the lighting. Oh, the lighting is so bad. Tried fixing the lighting. I'm sorry, I look freaking weird. It's now I am going to put primer on. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier primer. Put this all over my face. Okay. So the first step for my makeup after primer. I am going to be doing my eyebrows. This is my least favorite part because my eyebrows are awful right now. I need to get them done badly, but nothing's open. So I just have to deal with these brows. So it's okay. So I'm just gonna fill it in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color dark brown. Yes, dark brown. And then I'm just gonna fill these bad boys in. And the eyebrows take literally the longest time ever. I hate like making my eyebrows look like they're they are obviously filled. I try to make them as natural as possible, but they still end up looking fake. Okay, this eyebrow looks okay, I think. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so we kind of filled them in. This took me too long. I am going to be using the Anastasia. What is this? brow gel in the color dark brown put this over my brows good eyebrows is actually the key to like happiness because if my eyebrows are bad then like my whole day is ruined literally not gonna do my eyebrows anymore i think this is good enough so i am now going to carve them i'm gonna be using this brush and then with my nar no oh, with my nars concealer in the color ginger. I'm just gonna put this under my brows like that. Okay, they're carved. They look pretty good. Now I'm going to do a clear brow gel. I think we're looking good. Honestly, I, I look done. Globe is done. Just kidding. Okay, now we're gonna do foundation. Does this, is this gonna match? I don't think it will. Will this match? Probably. Let's just do this one. Taking a brush and we'll just go over with like, um, contour, bronzer. Okay, I think foundation should be good. Now I am going to go in with some concealer. I'm gonna be using the Kylie Jenner concealer in the color Maple. Am I running out of this? I better not be. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I'm gonna wet it with the Mario Badescu Rote Lavender Spray. Spraying that. And now I am going to move on to contour. I use the KKW contour stick in the color dark or tan contour. And then I'm going to use the darker side. And I just put it like so. 
I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I just put it all over. And then I use the lighter side of the contour stick and I put that on my nose. For the nose contour i don't know how to do my nose contour but i do it like this i'm going to be taking my hula bronzer and then i'm just gonna blend the contour now i need to blend the nose so i'm going to take the becca the becca um, bronzer in capri coast so I just dip a little bit of this onto the brush and then I usually just like just blend. Okay, we are moving on to powder using my Laura Mercier powder with like this little sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna let that little bake bake for a bit and then i'm just gonna do my eyeshadow i only have two eyeshadow brush brushes which are these two and then this one is the urban decay one so i'm gonna use my only eyeshadow palette i have which is the tartlet toasted palette from tarte and i'm gonna be using the color latte then i'm just gonna apply that all over my lids And I'm going to take the other brush and I'm going to take the color Warmth, which is a more like red color. And then I'm going to like blend that into my crease, I guess. And then I'm going to take the this brush with the flat end and I'm going to be taking like a little bright shimmery color. I'm going to be using Sunrise to the lid like a little bit. Okay. I'm not a pro makeup, so don't judge. Okay, I'm gonna blend out my powder now with this big fluffy brush. We're gonna do my favorite part, which is blush. So I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. blush in the color Always Rosy. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of that excess out, smile. It. Highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Becca highlighter in the color. I believe this one is Champagne Pop. Brush. Put it up here. And then nose. Okay, then that should be set for the face. Um, going to be spraying my Morphe spray, the best setting spray. Let that soak in. So I am going to um, like a little line, like an eyeliner, but I'm gonna use eyeshadow for this part. So I'm gonna be getting using like this little angle brush. I don't know where it's from, it's old. Okay, the lighting, come on. And I'm gonna be taking the Tarte palette and I'm gonna be taking the color called Fireside, which is this brown one. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't have a mirror, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay. And then I just make a little line like that. Like, looks like eyeliner. To make it sharper, I'm gonna be using a Q-tip to like, make it look sharper. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go on with eyelashes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start out with my um, eyelash primer and I'm gonna be using the covergirl lash blast Amplify primer. I just got this and I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna use it on camera Okay, so I'm just gonna let this primer dry and then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes So I usually use the covergirl lash blast um, waterproof mascara but today I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. 
I recently just got this, so I'm just gonna try it out today. It's very light, like not a lot of product comes out of it, so that's really nice. Okay, mascara is put on. It looks really good. I like it. Take a little Q-tip and then just lightly like try and take off like the excess mascara that I like accidentally got on my eyelids. Try not to ruin my eyeshadow. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm gonna take off my makeup off my lips so I can apply lip stuff. We're gonna take our Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the color Fenty Glow. And then the makeup is done. So now we're gonna move on to hair. So I gotta get rid of this crazy hair. And then I took a shower last night, pur purple shampoo on, so my hair looks a lot lighter. Okay, done with my hair. Now let's put some drip on. I've like tangled all my necklaces up. I'm gonna put this paper clip? No, yeah. No, safety pin. All right, now I'm gonna change her to an outfit. Okay, so my camera's literally about to die, but I changed my outfit, so I'm wearing this BDG little tank top thing, and then I'm wearing this Topshop mom jeans, gray. And then, yeah, jewelry. Got my J necklace that I got from Nordstrom, and then I'm wearing my Brady Melville um, safety pin necklace so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for glowing up with me i hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to subscribe and like this video if you liked it sorry i'm talking really fast my camera is literally about to die so yeah make sure to subscribe and comment below suggestions you want to see from me so yeah thank you guys again for watching and i love you and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye